Hey guys and welcome to a therapist task guide shortage. For this task we're going to need to find and raid or craft free Salewa first aid kits and then hand them over to her. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So when it comes to getting your Salewas the most reliable way that I have found is actually to craft them in my hideout. So to actually craft the med station, you don't actually need any requirements, but you can create it straight away, but it needs power to actually craft the Salewas. So for that, you do need to get yourself your security level one, which you do need a measuring tape and your generator, which you do need a spark plug. So you can't do this the moment you get into raid or rate as you start, sorry, the moment you get into the game, you do actually need to do a few raids first, but here is the craft. You get two painkillers which you can buy from the therapist two banishes you can buy from the therapist and same with the tourniquet now you can't actually buy the um the hemostat directly from the therapist there is a bar to trade for it which is two screws but i will be showing you a decent little map that will help you find your salaries in game so what I'm going to be showcasing is Map Genie right here. Map Genie is going to be an amazing tool for you for your progression through Tarkov. Now, the reason why it's so good, it is actually an interactive map as so. On the left hand side, you can hide all of the icons and then choose meds. So right here, this shows you all of the spawns for meds inside of Customs. Now, Customs is going to be the main map you go to start off with because you've got debut, which means you need to get your 133 shotguns and you've got to kill five scavs. So why not knock two birds out with one stone and be a lot more efficient? So when it comes to Customs, you have the left side, which is called the Customs Zone, the center, which is more like the construction and basically it's a giant construction site. And then the right side, which is called Boiler side, you've got the north, which is Dorms. Now, if you spawn on the left hand side, a few places that you can check out straight away is the med bag inside of the uh, storage unit, as well as the med bag on the north side of the big red, which is got a little blue hut and it spawns inside there. But realistically, the two places that you want to be hitting up is going to be crack house, which is basically a building with a load of glass windows. And then Fortress, which has basically got mounted LMGs and everything on it. So we're going to go into Raid and I'm going to show you whereabouts you can check out for these items. Okie doke. So we are in Raid. Right here is Crack House and over here is the Fortress. So going in Crack House from the Fortress side, there are two entrances. you got this side and then you got just that door right there. If that door is closed, that does mean someone is inside. So just keep that in mind. So already you can see that there's a Salewa here. All of these, basically this little thing here, each each uh, level can spawn um, some more meds as well as meds dotted around. You got a medical bag right here. And then if we continue through inside this little room, there is a dead scav here. Make sure you search him and make sure you check all around him. So we're going to continue along and we're going to head upstairs. So once you're heading upstairs, you have this little glass meth lab thing right here and make sure you check all of the shelves along here because you can get some layers spawn up there as well as more things that you are going to need for a later task all along here as well so just every single one of these desks can spawn medical items and make sure you check the floor just below as well so on and so forth all the way along as well as on here as well as on the, these uh, shelving units right here on top of basically it can spawn anywhere inside this room so make sure you have a proper good look just bear in mind that people can see you from fortress so you do watch your shell self there is a task later on where you got to get 100 meter headshots on players over well 100 meters away so this is um yeah a prime sniping spot come back into the hallway open up this door just down the end right here this is another great spot all the shelving inside here can spawn medical items as well as on this little wooden crate right there just as we are here, I might as well show you this room. This is called the library. Go inside. You can get a folder of intelligence in on these shelves right here, as well as on the floor, as well as some food items that spawn all around here. They are worth around about 400k at the time of this recording. So make sure you keep an eye out for an easy little bit of cash. Okie doke. So now we are at the fortress. Just over there is Crack House. And you can see the mounted guns up here. So this is why it's called Fortress. 
Coming in in the crack side, we're just going to head into this back room on the ground floor. And inside here is a few medical spots. On here can spawn food and meds. Same there. And of course, we've got another box, medical items. And I'm pretty sure if you look at the top right hand side here, this is actually a medical supply crate, which can have some saleras inside. What we're now going to do is head upstairs. So any flight of stairs will do. There's two. You've got one here and one on the back end. And do watch yourself when you're walking up here because you are actually quite exposed. Once you're upstairs, what you're going to do is go onto the crack side of the fortress. And you're looking for this little tub right here. When you are looting this, be careful because the same thing about the street born heaven, it can't go the other direction. So if you are going to loot it, just crouch behind it and then you can search it like so for some more salaries. Not finished just yet. Coming over here, you can see this little orange medical box. This is the final one and you can get med supplies that are dotted around. So just keep an eye out. This is also another medical spot right here. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a big thank you to Beansy and Freddy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.